George Chung, who is chairman of Cross Border, joins us now as we uh, discuss Mauritius as a third party jurisdiction. Good morning to you, George. Sorry about the interruption. I don't know what happened to the line there. Perhaps we could begin by just talking about what are third party jurisdictions before we talk about uh, Mauritius's role. Good morning, Johannesburg. Well, third party jurisdictions are better known as uh, offshore financial centers. There are about 80 of them in the world. The most uh, the famous ones are Singapore, Luxembourg, Hong Kong, which is a platform for entry into China. Mauritius has been used, continues to be used as a platform for investment into India. Singapore is the door of entry into the region of Southeast Asia. There are indeed 80 of them. They are better known as uh, offshore financial centers. Georgia, I was in uh, Mauritius towards the end of last year, and I must say I was struck at how hard the country is working to make it easy for people to do business there. So, for example, visas not required. The, the foreign exchange uh, restrictions are, are, are really limited. So what is Mauritius offering? And one of the points that they made, big picture, is that it's the gateway from Africa to Asia. Indeed, if you look at... Uh the indices of corporate governance, for example, we have been uh, number one in the African region. We are one of the top 15 or 20 in terms of ease of doing business. In fact, governments have been trying in the past 25, 30 years to make Mauritius environment conducive to the reception of foreign direct investment. We believe that we need to open ourselves to the rest of the world. We need to open us to open up for transfer of technology, for transfer of know-how, for sharing. Indeed, I think Mauritius is now very prominent in attracting foreign direct investment into, into, into Mauritius or via Mauritius into India or via Mauritius into the African continent or as a platform between Asia and Europe, between Asia and Africa. In fact, we intend to be a, a very prominent place for receiving foreign direct investment, whether as a conduit into other countries of the world. If we look at international investors or investors in one country wanting to move to other, another country to find, a, as you say, a, an offshore uh, financial centre, what are they looking for? Could you make a list of the top three priorities that they have when they're looking for a place uh, like Mauritius to do business in and with? And uh, how friendly are you in those areas? Okay. All right. Now, uh, every year there is something like uh, $1,500 billion of cross-border flows between countries looking for the highest return or the best return. And uh, these investments are risk averse, let's say. All right? Not only are they looking for the best return, but they are also risk averse. They would like, for, they would like to look for, for example, the least political risk, for example. Investors are really averse with respect to political risk. They look for uh, the right sort of structuring. They would like to be efficient in, uh, in investing their money. Okay? They, will, they will hate paying taxes in two, three, four different countries. And if you structure your deals, suppose that an Englishman wants to invest in Cameroon, uh, they would perhaps not want to invest directly because they wouldn't like to be taxed directly in Cameroon and in the investor country. And if the investor is looking for 10 different destinations, you can think you can, that they wouldn't like to pay 20 times the amount of taxes. So they will choose a, something like Mauritius, a jurisdiction where they can structure the deal, where democracy is at its best, where there is continuity of government. It's all these criteria that the investor will take into consideration before deciding where to locate the vehicle. Presumably, George, you uh, and have... in the past few years... Yeah, you have the, the skills yeah, required, and um, presumably that you're attracting skills as well. If this business is growing, you're going to need people to look after it. Sure. I mean... When money crosses borders, it's not only for the sake of uh, money itself. Uh, there are lots, lots of upsides which a company, let's say if um, Shell wants to invest in some sort of location whereby there's a discovery of, uh, of oil 
reserves. They come along with not only the money, but they come along with the weather knowledge, with the transfer of technology, they come along with creation of jobs. But in Mauritius, where, the, where we have the vehicle, we need to know how to administer it in the best possible way. And in Mauritius, there are something like 150 management companies which can help the foreign investor in administrating the money in the best efficient way so that the structure is done with the best uh, cost in terms of fiscal cost, in terms of uh, efficiency, in terms of cost of the accountants, cost of the structurer, and so on and so forth.